Chris. I'm an artist from Bristol in the UK, and I'm known for my wacky faces, textures, and my wolves and animals. However, landscapes is something I've been trying to get into because I I've always loved the ocean and the outdoors. So this is me climbing in Pembrokeshire. It was a long, long time ago, maybe 20, 21, so 15 years ago now. And so we climbed just around this bit here, whether it was climbing or martial arts, I was always into my fitness. So it's quite weird being an artist having that juxtaposition because I know a lot of artists just stay in their studio, but I need to get out, I need to ponder, I need to reflect, and I need to be doing things that motivate the brain and keep that going. So I've always painted, I've always had a paintbrush. So from about four years old, I painted and got paint all over the kitchen rather than get it on the canvas. And then when I was about eight, that's when I got into my fitness and climbing and being outside. We often went camping in Dartmoor. So I've always been into my traveling and with Cornwall being so close, I can visit it more often, it's only three hours away. But I have a very long time ago, um, eight or 10 years ago now, went to Malaysia, I saw one of the Buddhist temples, uh, Thailand's the Bells is there. And so I have traveled before, but Cornwall is always my special place. So I'm going to Cornwall because I want to get better at landscape. So it's always been art, but equally, I've always been into movement and fitness and the outdoors. And now I'm discovering landscapes is about mood. It's time to practice and figure out how to do that. But not only practice, but to connect to the landscape, to really feel it, to be in the moment on location. On the way, we visited a Grade 2 listed building built between 1896 and 1898 by a London brewer. The Coach House and Cafe is a beautiful building, beautiful grounds, and the coffee wasn't bad either. We then... And then... <laughs> oh, this is going to be like a show and tell. And on to the next thing. We then went on to Natural Trust, to Trulisic, where the amazing view over the coast and the bay. That's the very first view of Cornwall. We were nearly there. And this was just the preview of all the wonderful paintings and inspiration I could find myself creating. I don't usually like the National Trust old houses, I prefer the gardens. However, these windows were my dream windows for a studio. They're perfect in terms of height and I really want to go back and look at that conservatory sometime. Welcome to sunny, very windy Cornwall. So, just come to Cornwall to practice my landscapes. Don't know what we're going to film, but we'll see how we go. And this table was just in the middle of absolute nowhere. But on this little um, ledge.
So I haven't talked a lot in this vlog at all because painting is the inner world and then I'm thinking all the external world. But what I'm realizing is that's what drives the story. So let's go back to Cornwall. And we went to a wonderful cottage overlooking the sea, a stone throw away from the harbor and able to just go down there. And the cottage was just this amazing, like, it made me realize how much I need to declutter and to really get my space to a calm level because I've reached my threshold. I will put a link to someone who said stuff that I kind of already knew, but hearing it in a different way has really kind of strengthened that theory. I fear speaking in public and I worry that I'm in the way of the landscape, but I'm much more connected with animals and staying still, this seagull just stayed there for ages. That is until a tourist came and tried to take a photo up close, moving very quickly. Whereas I just waited and sat there and they came to me. Join me tomorrow where I meet a very friendly, massive goat with amazing matted hair who struck a pose and nearly ate my paints. Oh. <laughs>